Hello again. As promised, I've been building amplifiers. In fact, I built several amplifiers and uh, I decided that um, it was worth getting something going before making videos or else it would just be um, two or three or four little videos showing me making one amplifier after another amplifier. Okay, I've cleared the bench down now. I've got the two amplifier circuits that I intend to show ready to go. So here I've got uh, a Darlington transistor circuit and here I've got um, an LM386 circuit. This is the circuit diagram I've used for the Darlington transistor amplifier. So I've played around here with uh, different values anywhere from 66 to about 140k. It's not made much difference. Uh, here I've tried it with this 10 ohm resistor and also without um, you get more volume without, but um, the transistors do noticeably warm up and uh, the battery itself warms up as well. So I think realistically um, it's drawing quite a lot of current and that's probably what that 10 ohm resistor is designed to avoid. Okay, this is the circuit diagram I've used for the LM386. I've got the input signal coming in through this 10k variable resistor going off to pin 3. I've got the um, ground for the signal coming in and going to pin 4, which is the ground for the LM386. I've got the 9 volt power supply coming in on pin 6. I've got um, it connected to ground via a 330 microfarad uh, capacitor, electrolytic capacitor, that's to reduce noise. On the output side, I've got a 220 microfarad uh, electrolytic capacitor to basically remove any DC offset going to an 8 ohm speaker going to ground there. Now as I've drawn this up I've realised that I've actually connected all my grounds together at pin 2. Pin 2 isn't actually the ground for the LM306, uh, pin 4 is the ground. So uh, what I should do is go back and actually connect them all, all together at pin 4. It's important that you connect all your grounds together directly at the ground pin of the um, chip itself. If you're connecting together somewhere else, say here, then the electrical noise from the speaker can get fed back into this line, um, which is the input line, and that can just cause a problem. So um, you want to keep all your grounds connected together here and not elsewhere in the circuit. Okay, time for a quick audio test. So for most of my testing I've been using a little radio but for this I'm going to use a CD that I've created using a spectrum emulator. So this is good old-fashioned spectrum beeps. So I've got uh, identical speakers, identical batteries and of course an identical music source and I've just got a little switch there so I can switch between the two. So let's turn it on. So that's the Darlington 2 transistor amplifier going. It's okay, but it's not that loud. Right, that's the LM386. I was able to get a lot more um, volume out of that one. Well, I think that demonstrates that the LM386 is a better bet. It's smaller, it uses less power doesn't need the big heat sinks that the Darlington's got and also the heat sinks do get very slightly warm and the battery gets a bit warm too so um, it's definitely using more power than the LM386 circuit. I've tried both of them off a bench power supply also both of them suffer to a greater or lesser extent the transistor or Darlington transistor version is particularly susceptible then to noise um, the LM386, to be honest, you get a bit of noise even on battery. You get a little bit more noise when running off DC supply that's derived from the mains. Okay, so I've connected the LM386 circuit to the record player. I haven't made any changes to the circuit or the wiring. I've just connected it up. So let's give it a go. So that works pretty well. There's still quite a lot of noise from the turntable. I don't think I can do very much about that. 
I'm sure I could tweak the amplifier circuit a bit. I may have to do a bit of rewiring, maybe change the way I've done the grounds um, if I want to run it off a DC supply. That's probably enough on the amplifier. Next will be the motor control circuit. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Mr. RG Stuff.